Welcome back with us folks. Tonight we are looking at a doji pattern called the Hanging Man. Hanging Man is a reversal pattern that we want to spot. And the idea is to see it before, well, to anticipate the reversal before it happens by looking at the chart. And a Hanging Man pretty much looks like this. It's a small body with a long wick. And this is what the candlestick looks like. The idea is the shadow or the wick must be at least twice as big as the body itself. This is what um, some people say. But the idea is behind, behind the whole thing is this. Are we looking at something that is small body? It could be this, right? The idea is hanging man has to be at the top of a rise when a ticker is moving to the upside and this is somewhere at uh when this this happens at the end of a the day then what we need to to be sure is on the following day what's going to happen if the following day is moving lower well we can be pretty pretty sure that this is a reversal sign and it's going to continue However, if the following day is green, let's say you have this and the next day you have a green candle or it's still moving to the upside, well, basically what you have is invalidated the hanging man. Now, the idea behind all this is to be able to spot it and to know what happens. So let's take the whole thing to a real chart and see together if we can spot now this is a real chart this is fuel cell this is exactly after um, we had the uh, election in 2020 um, look at what happened we are looking at a um, rise so one thing that we're looking for is something on a rise so we're looking at dojis here they all look different but eventually we get to this guy here that looks exactly what we're thinking and this could be a reversal doji we look at the fall the next day and yes we are showing that this could be the beginning of a downtrend and fair enough on the following day we are dropping down um further um is this going to be a long run? We never know, but it's showing you that it's profit taking. It's a chain of a trend. Now let's keep this uh, moving. Let's let's move on to um, a little further to see what what could happen. Uh, we're looking at Doji's. We're still on the upside here, and oh, here is one. Following day, we're not. Uh, bearish you know it's kind of flat so it's still moving to the upside so it gets invalidated here same thing the following day so let's keep on moving and look to um, to find uh, these guys that we want to we want to make sure we have a good doji oh here's one right it's moving up and here is a hanging man. What happens on the following day? Oh, yes, we're moving lower. Remember, it's not because that it's red that it's moving lower because it could have been red here, you know, a big gap up and then it's just a bit profit taking. So we are confirming that we're moving down because we are confirming the trend change and yes, after that, we saw that we we're moving to the downside. Now let's keep moving. I'm just showing you how to spot these hanging mans. Um, oh, here's one. The hanging man um, at the top here. Then the next day is red and it's confirming the downtrend afterwards. Be careful. This is same, same thing, right? It's a doji that looks like this. At the top, we're looking for a hanging man. At the bottom, in this particular case, it's called 
a hammer. It's a reversal one, but the top one is called the hangman and the bottom one is called the hammer. Let's move on. I want to show you a few things and things to be um, careful about. Now, we are continuing. Um, you know, we have the, this downtrend is continuing nonstop. Um, I, what we are looking for is upside and hangman on the upside. Now, this is a good spot. We are moving to the upside. We are looking at the chart. Here we are seeing a hanging man. Okay, so the next day what happens? We still have another hanging man. So what the chart is telling you, if you looked at the chart intraday, is this. It started on the first one, right? Compared to this guy here, right? What happened is we gapped up because we opened super high. We gapped up, we closed the gap on the way down, and then closed the day a little higher than the uh, than the open. So this is why we're getting this kind of doji here. The next day, we did um, something a little different. D different. We opened up higher, right, and then we saw. A little dip very close to the dip of the previous day and closed lower we're still within range right so there is a bottom on that 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 one there gapped up we could see here if the next day was down we could see a um, hanging man saying that yes we're going on the uh, on the turn change of um, people buyers changing their mind and it's starting to uh, on, a, on a downturn but no it gets invalidated on the next day and then the third the third day is the opposite I mean it most of the volume was there we get a wick that could be some people call it the shooting star it could be a reversal as well, but it needs the next day to confirm the pattern, right? And the next day, what you see is this big, long, with huge volume, um, uh, green day. So remember, all these patterns are good, but you need to know what's happening the next day in order to make sure they get they don't get invalidated by the... Uh, uh, a green candle or something but what you need to look for is something that looks like this and get confirmation on the following day so i guess you guys um know what to look for and i hope hope you have learned a few things and um, let me know your comments and i'm super happy to have you with us thanks folks